Hi everyone, it's Kathy here from Zobello's Designs and today we're going to make a card using some of the Lavinia acrylic inks. Uh, the inks that I used today I actually used with water so they're a bit diluted which gives it a bit more of a pastel look. So for this project you'll need a piece of multifarious card cut four inches by six inches and I've chosen a blue matting card which is 6.25 inches by 4.25 inches and then I'll place that on a piece of card once folded measures 5 inches by 7 inches. The inks I've used are the Lavinia acrylic sprays, cranberry red, teal and chartreuse. For stamping I have the Vestifine Claire Nocturne and Bluebell. For the colouring of the wings I have uh, the Lavinia Elements ink violet chalk and Bermuda. I'm also going to use Bermuda to um, paint the stems on the on the dandelions. And the stamps I've used are the LAV681 Forest Creeper, the LAV766 Everly, the LAV197 Field Grass, LAV002 Bluebells, LAV754 Drooping Dandelion, and the LAV747 Tall Dandelion. Right, so let's get started. You also need a water spray and some kitchen paper to absorb some of the colouring. And I also forgot to mention I have a couple of glitters as well. I have the Eco Light Star Brights Fairy Tales Lavinia, which is like a purple and blue. And I have a bright white glitter as well from my stash. I have a quickie glue pen and a fine paintbrush and a black um, pencil for any work that might need adjusting. Right, let's get started with the inks. <clears throat> I use a basic cardboard box for my uh, inking. And I'll just put a piece of used paper inside and then I put my card on top. And I'm going to begin by squirting the card with some water and I'm going to start with the cranberry red which I want over to the left of the card just move up a bit so that I could do that and just water it down Quite a lot comes off, so it's not too bright. Then I'm going to put some chartreuse down here and a bit of the teal put in this corner. There we go. And again, I'm going to spray with water. Using my piece of kitchen roll. And first of all, I'm going to tip that up to get the bits off the edge. And I'm just going to gently dab. Just turning it as I go. There we go. Right, I'm going to take that out of my box and put it on a mat to dry. And I'm going to leave it for about 10-15 minutes and I shall be back. Right, I left that for about 10 minutes and it's still a bit damp so I just quickly blasted it with my heat gun. <clears throat> As you can see already that they don't come out exactly the same. This has probably got a bit more blue going up there but that's the beauty of handmade that they don't have to be identical. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm going to begin stamping with the tall dandelion first. Put that excess off. And then we'll have this one here. A leaf on one side. Coming up there. Next, I'm going to use 
there's a square on them with the um, drooping dandelion. sitting on the on the droopy dandelion to make sure I ink her plenty. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, I'm trying to make sure she's sitting on there. I'm just gonna hold that for a moment. Use some of the bluebell. I'm going to stamp the bluebells in bluebell. And I shall be doing first, second, and third generation in this. She's got some bluebells on the on the right at different angles. Um, I have a bit of field grass. Go back to nocturne. Pencil, and I'm actually just gonna go down to the edges without to make sure it's at the bottom. And then it's the forest creeper. So that's all the stamping and now we can have some fun doing the colouring. Start by doing her wings first. I'm just going to put a bit of Bermuda <coughs> and a bit of violet chalk. Squirt some water and start with the Bermuda first. to colour the dandelions I'm using a white Posca pen to give it a good shake. glue pen Tails. I'm going to do this upside down because I don't want it to go on the Posca pens. And 
and now I'm going, to, I'm going to use my um, quickie glue pen on the flowers and the wings and we're going to use some white glitter. And there we have it. We called this one Everly's Garden. All of the um, supplies used will be listed underneath this tutorial so that you'll be able to find what you need. I hope you found it useful and thank you for watching. And before you go, if, you, if I can just ask you, if you're not already a member of our Facebook groups, would you consider joining our two Facebook groups? We have Del Bello's Designs Lounge for All Products Lavinia. And we also have Del Bello's A La Carte lounge for all of the other products patty sales like cardio stamps sweet poppy stamps etc um thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye